There can be no room for leniency. That's gonna be your answer, is it? Watch what you say, Hugo. However, the decision does seem lopsided to me. We applaud the way that the cargo was safeguarded from Ash Aragami during its arduous journey to reach us. The response to the assault on the transport was handled admirably. If that's the case... Despite those achievements, the unveiling of the cargo manifest was a major breach of our contract. Furthermore, according to a detailed report from Inukai, the highly classified cargo was improperly handled, greatly reducing its usefulness to us as a specimen. There are no excuses for this. Damn! That bastard Inukai! Gleipnir will begin the process of seeking damages from Chrysanthemum. We will press charges of wrongdoing under Ashland Navigation Law for this outrage. As for you ages, you can expect to meet a firing squad. This incident was the result of my personal mismanagement. It was my responsibility. They are not at fault. In fact, they risked their lives to protect... You are a scion of House Victorious. You should know that I owe a certain debt to your father for his guidance. Wait quietly during these proceedings. I won't make this hard for you. I'm telling you that I'm the one responsible! <laughs> Very well, I'll speak frankly. You absolutely do not have the power to take responsibility for this. You owe your very life to House Victorious. Avoid any and all deeds that would sully that name. Could it be that you are simply failing to comprehend your own true value? <laughs> what is it? Sir, a large ash origami has broken through our second cordon and is approaching at high speed. What's that? Oh man, that's a real shame. Ash origami are tough to crack. Listen, all of you, go out and fight that ash origami. You can at least buy us some time. No thanks. We've got a date with the firing squad, remember? He's right. A quick execution does sound a lot better than being eaten by an origami. You're... you're in no position to... How about if the ash origami were defeated and you were safe again? Would you reconsider your decision then? Defeated? That is absolutely impossible. It's a large ash origami. By my family's name, I will defeat it. Alongside my companions. I know that look. The daughter of the great man, Randall Victorious, has most certainly inherited her father's valor. I am currently away from headquarters, so you will have to forgive my greeting you remotely. Allow me to introduce myself. Abraham Gadolin, Chief Commander of Gleipnir, at your service. Uh, governor General Gadolin? Oh, What's a Governor General want with us? I must admit it. We lack the capability to deal with that Ash Aragami. Thus, would you companions not lend us your strength in this time of need? Listen, Governor General. We don't have a problem with helping you, but we're going to need collateral. We'd be risking our lives. You can offer us appropriate compensation? I overheard your earlier conversation. I will bargain in good faith. Governor General, do we have your word on this? That will depend upon the results. The first condition is survival. Okay then. We have ourselves a deal. Now, sit back and watch what we can do.
This mission is being monitored by high ups at Gleipnir. I'm sure you're aware of what that implies. It's a chance to prove our value. Yes, that sums it up, Hugo. They don't believe for a second that you can defeat Ash Aragami. Go ahead and flip their world upside down. Here it goes!
actually managing to defeat a large Ash Aragami. Unbelievable. What do you intend to do, Governor General? We now have proof that our strategy can succeed. Hmm? The power to eradicate even Ash Aragami. Indeed, it is the final peace we've sought. So, you're the Governor General? Well, what did you think? You were watching. You saw us fight, right? The results were marvelous. That and your spirit, conviction, and indomitable will. In a world choked by despair, your strength of will is like a beam of light toward the future. And then there is your prowess on the field of battle. A determined heart needs a sword to defend it. In such times where schemes whirl within schemes, what is to be trusted but one's own might? It would be regrettable to ruin such potential through a temporary lapse in judgment. So that means you're letting us go, right? Yes, naturally. That's not all, though. I want you to entrust Feem to us. I'm willing to bet that you guys have noticed by now, but there's something about her that attracts Ashbourne. Yes, taking all observations into account, we can conclude this. There can be no doubt that Ash Aragami possess a powerful desire to devour humanoid Aragami. We're the only ones who can keep Feem safe. Very well. We shall place Feem in your care. Your performance in battle did justice to the name Victorious. Your words are too kind. However... This is an organization. We can't give preferential treatment to one group or individual member. There is an objective reason behind that. What would that be? We will soon summon caravans from all ports for a grand assembly, a conference. There, we will be announcing a large-scale operation. We would like for you to join it. You mean the Fenrir HQ Reclamation Initiative? Yes, precisely. You can count on us for this endeavor. My thanks, Hilda. You have grown admirably. Sir. Hmm? Allow me to express our gratitude once more. We are deeply grateful for you rescuing our people. I will contact you later regarding the operation's details. I have high hopes. What is the meaning of this? You just handed over Specimen 1 without contacting me at all! It will be safer in their hands for now. Cells from the Specimen have been taken. It will not impede Odin's technology verification. Besides, though it may be an origami, it appears human. Using it as a guinea pig would be painful for anyone. Wouldn't you agree? Quite.